just tell Jesus all of my trials I cannot bear. And 
for coming out we appreciate it so much Boy, it's great to where are we no i'm just kidding we're back in elizabeth and we're great it's great to be here and and uh, thank you so much what a great looking crowd and uh, we appreciate it coming out well y'all have had some we've had some weather here lately haven't we uh, uh it's a uh, bit kind of odd isn't it we uh, um we started out our tour a few weeks ago we started down in florida and we went on a cruise um we left Tampa, it was 45 degrees in Tampa when we got on the cruise. We, our first stop was down in, um, where'd we go? Key West. Key West. And it was 50 degrees there and the wind was blowing 100 miles an hour like there wasn't nothing between us and the North Pole but a barbed wire fence. And it was, it was cold. In fact, it was so cold in Miami Beach that the weather service issued a falling iguana warning. I'm serious. A falling iguana warning. Second time in history they have ever done that. Most of you know, you know iguanas are reptiles. And, and at night, 
they climb up in the trees, and they were so cold that they couldn't hold it. They were afraid they were going to fall off on people. Isn't that funny? Not if you're an iguana, but that's, you know. But, uh, <laughs> this global warming stuff is about to freeze me to death. I don't know about y'all, but, uh, but it's great to be here. How many are seeing us for your first time? Never seen a kingdom here before. Again, first time. Three people. Wonderful. Great. Well, thank you all for coming. I appreciate that. Uh, this is, uh, we're right in the middle of our winter tour, and uh, we start back at Dollywood uh, March the 14th. We'll start our 35th year at Dollywood, and uh, we're excited about that. Thank you. <laughs> excited about that. We, we uh, love the opportunity that the Lord has given us to be there, and uh, we do exactly the same thing there as we do here. And uh, it's a great opportunity to stand in a public arena, a secular theme park, and tell people about Jesus. Amen? And, uh, yeah. Well, we're going to sing, uh, we're going to sing some old songs, some new songs for you tonight. We hope that uh, something we sing or say will be a blessing uh, to you. Are you glad to see all the guys uh, tonight? Let them go. All right, come on, one more time. Just like one day I heard a preacher preach, he said this world is gonna leave, and when we die, we'll either go to heaven above or hell below. I bowed my heart, confessed my sin, invited Jesus to come in, the Savior turned me from the Such a place on the day that I got saved, he locked the gates. And now I live a life so free, knowing Jesus lives in me. Sin, I'll pay. Well, I'm pulling to that ragged hill. And say thanks to Jesus, I never will. Oh, he locked the gates. He locked the gates of hell behind me. And I did it through. He threw the keys away. He locked the gates, so give him glory. There'll never come a day I've to enter such a place. All the day that I Say he locked the gates of hell behind me. I'm getting through, he threw the keys away. He locked the gates, so give him glory. There'll never come a day I've been to such a place. Or the day that I got saved, it came that very day. He locked the gates, he locked the gates. a number one song for us back, I don't know, probably 18, 19 years ago, I guess. A great song written by Rodney Griffin. We've got a, a, a brand new album that just came out just a few months ago, and it's a little bit different album for us. It has uh, six songs on it with the vocals and the band, and then the vocals uh, did three a cappella songs, and the band did three instrumental songs. So it's kind of a mixture of uh, some different things. Can we do one of the a cappella songs for you? Is it okay if we do one of those for you? Great. That's what I was going to do, so that works out very well. This is, a, uh, this is actually a uh, brand new song. It was written by uh, Diane Wilkinson, and uh, it has kind of a 50s flavor to it. See if you like this right. Oh, nothing's going to keep me down. I've been serving God's. 
since I was saved so long ago I know sometimes I stumble along my stumble way Stumble along my way Been down and out and talked about But one thing I can say God's been right beside me every beside day Beside me every day The world, the flesh, the devil's been working over time Working over Determined time Determined to defeat me and to make me cross the line Make me cross the line But Jesus intercedes for me when troubles come my way He's there to fight my battles, all I have to do is pray When I find myself on sinking sand and I know I'm going down, no, I'm going my down. Lord will pick me up and put my feet on a solid ground. Something's bound to get me, but nothing's gonna keep me, nothing's gonna keep me. Friends and loved ones here will gather round. Friends will gather round. They'll carry me and marry me, but one thing they should know: nothing's gonna ever keep me down. Keep me down. The world, the flesh, the devil, been working over time. Working over time. Determined to defeat me and make me cross the line. Make me cross the line. The Jesus intercedes for me when trouble.
that song. That's a brand new song that Lauren did for you. It's written by our drummer, Dennis, back there. How about that? Isn't that great? Dennis, over the past, I don't know, 10 years or more, I guess, Dennis has just become just a tremendous uh, songwriter. Dennis, I think that's the best song you've, you've written right there. Hey, I want you to do, in fact, I want you to do another one that you wrote. And I, want, well, not, I don't want you to do it. I want Jerry to come and do it. But uh, he's a drummer for a reason. But um, <laughs> I want you to listen to Jerry sings this. I love this song right here. It's called Pieces. So you listen to it.
Good job, buddy. I tell you what, let me take let me take a minute, and I know everybody has pretty much seen us, but uh, maybe there's somebody here that don't really know us very well. Let me introduce everybody to you very quickly, and uh, get that out of the way. A young man over there uh, playing uh, bass guitar, 38 years. He's been right back there playing that bass. That's a long time, isn't it? Make him welcome from Mascot, Tennessee, Chris French. Yeah. <clears throat> How you doing, Val? Well, I'm doing good. I was kind of dreading going home a little bit. How come? I mean, we've been out for four days, but... Right. Well, I've got a mad wife at home. Oh. But when, she's mad, when she's mad at you, how, how can you tell by her demeanor or... The way Usually she... by what she throws. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, this all kind of happened. It started about six weeks ago. Well... Take that back. It started about 36 years ago, but <laughs> we've been doing a little remodeling. Oh. And oh. I don't know if you've ever done any of that. But you know, they say if you really want to test your marriage, you either need to build a house or remodel. That's the truth. Yeah, because everybody's got their own opinion. Right. And she had hers, and I had mine, and we fussed and argued a little bit. Right. And I thought, well, you know, the cruise was coming up. I thought, well, we'll right. go on the cruise, and, you know, maybe that'll make things better, but the first, first morning on the cruise, sitting at the breakfast table, she said something that was kind of disturbing, really. Really? We were sitting there, and she said, you know, she said, it seems like all we ever do anymore is just fuss and fight. Huh. She said, as a matter of fact, I think we just need to pray to good Lord take one of us. Okay. And she said, but listen, don't worry about me. I can stay with my sister. <laughs> I think I know which way she's leaning. <laughs> yeah. I, I wore a life jacket all week on that cruise. <laughs> she goes, let's go up on the deck and walk around. I said, oh. <laughs> Our piano player from Harriman, Tennessee, are you glad to see Andy Stringfield make him welcome? <laughs> Andy and his wife, uh, Rachel, just had their first baby. In fact, he... Uh, uh, just turned one year old last week, wasn't it? And well, yeah. week before last, yeah. Yeah. And uh, and one years old. Ooh. And uh, uh, Andy was so excited when they brought little Marshall home from the hospital. And uh, they live in a little subdivision there in uh, Pigeon Forge. And Andy took him around to all the neighbors, you know, and introduced him. And came back to the house and he told Rachel, said, Rachel, everybody in the neighborhood says Marshall looks just like me. And she said, well, of course they do, baby. You got him upside down. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> He's doing good, though, isn't he? Yeah, doing my, great. I hadn't been around him much now. My, my I hadn't either. Babysitted him a few. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Has he started talking yet? Is he trying to talk? Or? Yeah, he's saying a couple things. Is that right? What's, uh -huh. what's he saying? Uh, let's see. The biggest thing he's saying is probably, hey, Dad, Dad. Oh, is he really? Well, I think so. I don't <laughs> That's kind of his word for everything, just dad, 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 dad. <laughs> Our drummer, 29 years. He's been back there playing those drums from Oceana, West Virginia. Dennis Murphy, make him welcome. Uh, a couple other guys that we couldn't do without for back there running sound. Uh, Jesse, it's his second year with our group. Is he doing a good job on the sound? Everything sound good? Jesse Van Zant back there. I think our bus driver's in here somewhere. I'm not sure. I thought I saw him come in. He may not be, but he may be asleep. But uh, great guy. Rick Fair is driving our bus seat, but he can, man, he can park that thing where you can't shine a flashlight, man. He can put it where you can't find it with a flashlight sometimes, but um, he does a great job. Anytime y'all want to come over here, it'd be great. Young man singing the bass. You've heard him. Don't get no better from Brunswick, Georgia, Jeff Chapman. Singing the tenor from Bladenboro, North Carolina, Jerry Martin, right there. On the baritone from Elizabeth in Tennessee, Lauren Harris. My name is Arthur Rice. I'm from Asheville, North Carolina. That makes up all the kingdom airs. If you're glad to see them, let them know it one more time. <laughs> we, uh, we actually uh, we recorded two albums that came out last year. We did one in the spring that came out. Uh, that's kind of a favorites album. We did some older songs and newer songs. Can we do an old song for you? Is that, would you mind if we do that? Got about three people's excited about that. This is, uh, uh, how many of y'all ever heard of Vep Ellis? Anybody remember Vep Ellis? Wrote some great songs. One of the best songs he ever wrote was I Know He Heard My Prayer. Great song. 
Uh, in fact, it's in the red book. I don't know if y'all use the red yeah, book. Yeah, honey. And uh, this song right here, <laughs> this is another song that, that Beth wrote that, I, that I've always loved, and I've always wanted to record this song, and uh, we're going to do it for you. Let's see. chapter 8. You know, chapter 8 begins with no condemnation, and it ends with no separation. And right in the middle, all things work together. The Apostle Paul said he was convinced that nothing could separate us from the love of God. Absolutely nothing. You know how he was convinced? He had experienced it. Amen. One of these days, we're going to stand on Zion's mountain. And we're going to sing a song the angels cannot sing. Tongue could 
Well, the guys, uh, take a break there for just a minute. Let me uh, let me let the guys in the band uh, play for you. I, you know, uh, I told you we featured them on our uh, newest album, and uh, we wanted to do that because, uh, <clears throat> well, to be honest with you, uh, they're actually the only ones that have won any awards. And, uh... <clears throat> Tell them how many. Eleven times. <clears throat> hey. So, um, I, t I tell you what, um, um, I think uh, Lauren wanted you to play that, um, uh, yes, Joshua, and uh, uh, so y'all wear it out. Make them well. I kid them, but make them welcome. Eleven time band of the year.
One more time, the Kingdom Air Band. Isn't that great? All right, come on, help us out, right? Look up, fear not, the angel said. Behold, the Messiah has come, the one of whom you've read. And as they spoke to men that day, the heavenly host around the throne joined in to say, Glory to God in the highest peace on earth, a good will to men. Heavenly angels announced his arrival in the little town of Bethlehem. Hallelujah to the Lord, sing holy. He was born to save the world from sin. Glory to God in the highest glory. Hallelujah to the Lord in charged to get in tonight. I started to ask for a Dollywood season pass to get in, but no, didn't think that worked. We didn't charge anything to get in. They just come tonight for this love offering, and uh, they, I'm glad Dolly lets them uh, tour during the winter months before Dollywood opens up in March, and we're just, again, so glad they're here and came back this way to, tonight to Valley Forge, and we're glad you're here, and we want you to give your best offering tonight. Since we didn't charge anything, just give an offering tonight because you I believe in the ministry. Like I said, they have a stage uh, that it's unbelievable in these days that they get to sing at a secular theme park for, for Jesus. 
And so I appreciate everyone tonight as we stand together and ask a blessing on this offering. I'll ask Brother Danny, if he will, to bless this offering, that it would go to further the ministry and the gospel of Jesus through the kingdom of Mary's. Empty 
Dixon. Cap Dixon. Yep. Five. 
Savior pure and sinless dying for the wrong we've done. What we needed was a holy sacrifice, God's only begotten Son. Exactly what we needed, Amen. We needed a Savior, Amen. Well, we uh, we did something last year uh, that we hadn't done before. We had uh, Corn Dog McComas come up and sing with us. And uh, Jim, come on up here. I want you. To, I want you to sing with us again. You, you, you. come on, Jeff. Come on, yeah. Come on, Jeff. That's right. I forgot Jeff sang tenor on. That's right. Yeah. Corn dog Snyder, hot dog Snyder, right there. But uh, Jim, I tell you what, this, this guy right here, I, I love this guy right here, and, and uh, I've been listening to his preaching on uh, online. And, uh, and, you, you and, know, and I've been preaching for forty years, yeah. and Lauren Harris changed my life here a year ago. Is that right? When he came up with this corn dog thing, yeah, I came to see you guys last summer, and this is the truth. And I was eating a corn dog. I went to see your early show, just like I always do. I went to get a corn dog. I'm sitting down, mind my own business, and a lady comes up. This is the truth. And she said, I know I know you from somewhere. And I said, well, I'm a preacher. And she said, what state she was from. So we, I listed all the churches. No, no, that's not it. She said, do you sing? I said, yeah, I sang in a quartet for, in Ohio. And No, that's not it. I sang with my family when I was a kid. No, that's not it. And then she said, I know you. You're one of the corn dog boys. <laughs> and I was eating a corn dog when she said it. <laughs> My whole life. See That's how it. God works. That's right. <laughs> Here you go. There's still some good notes left in that microphone right there. <laughs> Make them welcome to right the corn dog boys. The corn dog court pet. One night upon the sea, a ship was tossing to and fro, breakers dashed on every hand, angry winds around it blow, all aboard were filled with The winds and seas obey. He's the one who sails with me. He's the master of the sea. Can calm life's troubled sea as he did in days of old. As upon life's sea you sail, well, just trust in him who never fails. I'm so glad he sails with me. Yes, he's the master of the sea. Oh, when he reaches. 
marches out his head. The bill of seas and his command. Winds and waves obey his will. When he says to them, be still. What man is this they all did say? That the winds and seas obey. Well, he's the one who sails with me. He's the master of the sea. Yes, he's the one who sails with me. He's the master of the sea. I want to say, listen, I, this, this line up here, right here, I don't know how you feel about it, but I, I'm a student and a fan of this music. This lineup you're watching tonight is the greatest Southern Gospel Quartet ever assembled in modern day. That's how I feel about them. They are awesome. And I just want to say to them, I want to say to all you guys, I know that it has to be, it has to some days be tough to go in there day after day and sing the same songs over several times a day. I know that it has to be tough. And you've all got personal things going on in your own lives, trying to keep everything together. But I want you to know, if you ever doubt that you really do make a difference, you have ministered to me time and time again through some dark and tough days. And I can go in there and the lights go down. Nobody can see me crying. I can just sit there and you guys have helped me from the bottom of my heart, I want you to know that I love you and I thank God for you and for your ministry. Do you love the Kingdom Mayors tonight? That's why 
my song My story is of Jesus my Savior and my friend cause there's never been a long time He won't bring me through There's never been a morning His mercies are there's never been a moment He's not all I need He's never made a promise That He does not keep There's never been a moment He's not all I my all and I guess I really can't blame them for having their doubts for they only knew what I used to be but oh what a difference the Lord made in me what I got was real praise God I serve the Lord faithfully, but I cannot begin to imagine what He has in store. Oh, for once I was lost and I was headed for hell, but then I got saved, now all is well, my forever Tell you. 
sun is shining through this belly blue with hallelujahs I know that this is real for in my heart I feel that my Savior heard my earnest
especially in this uh, coming year. And I know everybody's heard it. This year of 2020, let our vision be 2020 on Christ. You know, it'll be great to sing to. You know, I look out and uh, common sense would make me think, Pastor, that everybody in here is a Christian. That why would you come out on Sunday night to your quartet sing? But you know what? There may be somebody here tonight that doesn't know this Jesus that we've been singing about. Maybe you've been fighting an emptiness inside. You can't feel it. Spurgeon said we were born with a hole in our soul that nothing but Christ can fill. We can try everything that the world has to offer, but that hole is still empty until God comes in and fills it. Maybe you've tried that. Or maybe you're here tonight and you're going through some things and you're just discouraged. Listen, the, the devil just wants you to just give up in the last day, just to throw your hands up and just say, Lord, I quit. Because if he, he, he he's already lost you, but if he can make you discouraged, keep you from encouraging someone else, make you a stumbling block that's what he'll do listen draw up close to him say I'd rather have Jesus than anything you bow your heads with me for just a second Father we thank you for this night and thank you for the opportunity that you've given us and thank you for each one that's here Thank you for this church and what an example it is to this community and well, for the pastor and the staff. And Lord, if there'd be somebody here tonight that doesn't know you, Lord, I pray that your convicting power would just be so strong they couldn't leave this place until they made it right. Perhaps there's somebody here that's going through something they just don't understand. It just seems like hell is at their doorstep and just feels like every way they turn is just discouragement. Lord, I pray that you would encourage them tonight. Lord, let them trust you with tomorrow. Because we know you, you know the end from the beginning and the beginning from the end and you know exactly where they are in that season that's what gives us promise of tomorrow is your love and your mercy Lord I pray that you would just encourage them Thank you for all that you do for us. Thank you for your many blessings, and blessing us in spite of us. Thank you most of all for knowing exactly what we needed when you sent your only son, Jesus. That through his shedding of his blood, through his redemption, we can come to know God. And we praise you tonight and give you honor for what you've done here tonight and what you're going to do in the coming days. And Lord, we ask all these things in the precious name of Jesus. And all God's people said, Amen. Has it been good to be in the house of the Lord tonight? Have you had a good time? Have you enjoyed the guys singing and playing? And... Thank you. 
I hope uh, I hope we can come come back again next year. I hope we'll, you'll let us come back. We uh, we, uh, we just carved out a spot, and we're just going to make it regular if that's okay. And uh, we appreciate you letting us have this one right here. I just want you to know what a blessing he's been to me. And uh, he was a godsend to me, and he encourages me every day. And I, I love him, and I appreciate him, and I know that y'all miss him, but uh, y'all can't have him back. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can we do one more song for you? Is that okay if we do one more? I got to do uh, Damascus Road. Uh, we hadn't done, and I got to do that one. And then, uh, um, so if you've really enjoyed all the guys, let them know it one more time, would you? Come on, Pastor.